All right, let's do this example. It says, given that the sine of theta is equal to negative 2 over 3 and is in quadrant 3, find the cosine of theta and the t tangent of theta. All right, so we know our angle theta is in quadrant 3 here. We can make a triangle with the x-axis and use the reference angle as our angle theta, theta r. And sine, we can label that. Sine of theta is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. All right, let's label our triangle. This is the opposite side, and there's the hypotenuse. So what we need to do is we need to find that side, x. We can use Pythagoras. Uh, 3 is our hypotenuse. So we will have 3x squared plus negative 2 squared is equal to 3 squared. So x squared plus 4 is equal to 9, minusing 4 from both sides. x squared is equal to 5, so x is equal to root 5. We'll put that on our diagram. However, we've got to be careful here. Remember, x is negative as you move to the left from the origin. So this is negative root 5. In fact, if you were going to plot the point, say point P, it would be negative root 5 comma negative 2. But now we have all three sides of our triangle and we can find the other ratios. The cosine of theta is the adjacent, remember it's the adjacent, over the hypotenuse. So that's going to be negative root 5 over 3. The tangent of theta, that's the opposite over the adjacent. So that'll be negative 2 over negative root 5, which becomes positive 2 over root 5. Five. And remember how I've talked about before is that often the denominator will be rationalized, which gives us 2 root 5 over 5. And there's our other two ratios. So just to summarize what I did, you're going to use what you're given, the sine of theta, to draw, put your angle in the quadrant, use Pythagoras to find the other side, and then evaluate the other two ratios. This diagram that I made is really, really important. Even if it's not part of the actual solution, it's important to write the diagram so that you understand what's going on.